I stumbled into radio because honestly, mm. me, I was just doing, I was just minding my business, yes. doing sales and marketing. Then yes. all of a sudden, the opportunity was here. When they're looking for presenters, um, I did not audition, mm -hmm. but I did a recording on my phone. When I sent that recording, I was like, so this friend of mine, and he said to me, this friend of mine uh, was not able to send the demo in time, but I just thought she's really good. I was mm. like, oh yeah, but then she's really good. Really How about you good. tell her to come on Monday? Hello everybody, welcome to Sanana Medino. Yes, we are here back again. We continue the series of Kenya's finest radio presenters. And today in the building, we have another amazing radio presenter. She is Amekwakwa industry for the longest. Kwanzia 2018, I radio. I love say Pale Paul Radio. And we are continuing with this series and with this amazing uh guest today she is none other than Jonique. Jonique, we are so excited to have you on the show so happy to be, to be here as well thank you so much for having me <laughs> karibu sana <laughs> uh, so maybe mse ana coach for the very first time haju any nani ma fans wa sanana mitindo na maybe they want to know you can introduce yourself on your camera All right. who is Jonique? so hi guys my name is Jonique. I am a radio presenter and a sales and marketing executive at Power Radio and I'm so excited to be here to talk about my journey uh, which is actually very interesting. You mm. like it. Mm. Yes. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. So, Nimeko Niki pronounced Jinayako Vibaya. Forgive me. You are forgiven. Joannick. <laughs> yes. Anik. Yes. Okay. So, Joannick, uh, where did you grow up? Uh, primary, Ulienda Wapi, mm -hmm. high school, Kaenda Wapi, Kampu, Kaenda Wapi. All right, mm. uh, the moment is here, yeah? Yes, <laughs> spill the Taran, Taran. Uh, wow, uh, yeah. born and raised in Kayole. Uh -huh. Yes, well, nice. Kayole, oh, Yole. Kayole. Uh -huh. uh, that's where I was born and raised. Uh -huh. I went to a primary school called Imara Primary. Uh -huh. uh, but Kayole, I think, was a Yes. So, and then, uh, of course, they learned academies before, yes. uh -huh. as in the preparatories. Preparatory skills. Before skills. to end the uh, hearing gig, Kanjo. Uh -huh. So, yeah, after that, I went to high school in Limuru, a mm -hmm. school called St. Mary's. St. Mary's. Uh, from one all the way to form four. Uh -huh. And then once I cleared, uh -huh. um, I joined a TTC, uh -huh. um, Halisi Teachers Training College. Wow, you yes. are a teacher. Yeah. So, professionally, <laughs> I am a teacher. Don't uh -huh. ask me what I'm doing with the uh, video. I love you, Lizzie. Yeah, so, professionally, uh -huh. I'm a teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I taught for three and a half years. Uh -huh. uh, of course, during my teaching practice, uh -huh. and then now um, I went into full time teaching for wow. like a year and a half. Okay, and okay, then... okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the three year olds to five year olds. Oh, nice. The best souls ever. Uh, you know, it was amazing. Uh -huh. I learned a lot. Uh -huh. And then I just figured there's more I can do, uh, mm -hmm. you know, as in within these four walls, as opposed to just being within these four walls. There's yes. a lot that I can do. Mm -hmm. So I just decided to try and do something else. So. Wow. Uh, someone once told me that you know like you okay. can you okay. can sell me this cup it belongs <laughs> to me but you can sell it back to me you know yes. so I figured probably I can do something about sales mm -hmm. and then uh, I went into sales mm -hmm. for a while mm -hmm. uh, like two months okay. and then after that someone recommended me mm -hmm. to the head of sales and marketing in Kubamba radio by wow. then mm -hmm. and then yeah went in for an interview mm -hmm. um, I told them I have not done anything I've not studied anything to do with sales and marketing yes. but I'm willing to learn Yes. And she didn't even go through like my CVs and everything. Mm -hmm. She just mm -hmm. told me come on Monday. So wow, that's that's that where my, my my journey into like you know when you just the step your foot space. into uh, radio uh, and then that's where yeah my journey began. Wow, yes. wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who was your favorite pupil during that time? Can you mention a name or two? Wow, I had a number, a quite a number. Quite a number. Uh -huh. But there was one a young lady, Hafsa, Hafsa Muhammad. Uh -huh. I, I used to teach um, in a school where we used to have a lot of uh, you know Muslims oh, and nice. uh, mixed, and it was really uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, and then there was also a one Arab boy called mm. Riaz. Uh, <laughs> Riaz you, Imran. Uh, could you have a thing for Arab? Not really, uh, not Muslims. really, but you know, it was quite interesting. Allah says, I'll call on Gessa, Ilixwali, a coast, Kabisa, because the mom was from Costo. Nice. Uh, so, it's uh, Chanjuan, uh, Mamangu, uh, Yaja, Sangapi. Nice. Quite interesting, you know, just getting to, to just be in their world and uh, getting to learn them. So, it was really good. Yes. Yes. So, uh, how was it? How has the journey been uh -huh. in radio? Now that Ulingia Pali Kubamba radio. Yes. So, how was it at Kubamba and how did you now enter into power? 
Yes. yes. All right. So um, in Kubamba, it was quite interesting because I mm -hmm. went in to do sales first, mm -hmm. and then uh, there was uh, one presenter who was transitioning out. Okay. Uh, he out to Saint P. Mm -hmm. So Saint P was transitioning out. Mm -hmm. and Apparently, they were looking for presenters. Mm -hmm. So I had sat through St. P's show, okay. and I was like, oh, so this is how radio is done. Because mm -hmm. I'd never thought about like how radio is done. I was yes. like, oh, this is mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. So when they're looking for presenters, mm -hmm. um, I did not audition, mm -hmm. but I did a recording on my phone. Like mm -hmm. how I do a link, yeah. for example, how to introduce mm -hmm. a show. Mm -hmm. And so I did the recording on my phone, and then I sent it to the head of radio. Okay. So, head of radio by then, DJ Sean, shout mm -hmm. out to you. Mm -hmm. And so, when I sent that recording, I was like, so this friend of mine, I didn't say it's me, mm -hmm. this friend of mine uh, mm -hmm. was not able to send the demo in time, but what? I just thought she's really good. I was <laughs> like, oh yeah, but then she's really good. <laughs> really How about you good. tell her to come on Monday? So guess who shows up in his <laughs> office on Monday? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't believe it. He was like, no, I, in fact, go to the production, go mm -hmm. record something. I, mm -hmm. I just need to I just need to confirm this is you. Yes. So I went in, recorded something, mm -hmm. and then now when they were going through the the the, the demos that guys had sent in, yes. they were like, This one, this last one is interesting because it's actually mm -hmm. one of us. So guys in the oh. office were like, So who's that? Mm -hmm. You know. So when I did, uh, so when they listened to it, they were like, this is really good, mm -hmm. you know. And so mm -hmm. they started mentoring me from then. Okay. I did my first voiceover. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had a client who'd come in and then they wanted a voiceover done in mm -hmm. Swahili. Because now okay. the show that I was auditioning for was a Swahili-based show, okay. if I would say. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I did the voiceover mm -hmm. and then I was paid and I was like, oh, okay, this is you good. <laughs> I was like, you get paid. You just read a script. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, that, that's something I, I I started getting interested in. I started yes. learning. I started, of course, you know, YouTube became my 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 teacher from then. Oh. Started learning how to do voiceover. Started learning, uh, you know, what it means to be on radio, how mm -hmm. to tackle a topic, mm -hmm. and so with time. Mm -hmm. When they were still trying to look for a replacement, they mm -hmm. figured, uh, you know, why look for someone else when we have someone we can be able to mentor yes. and someone who's in this space. So mm -hmm. that's how I ventured into radio. One uh, afternoon, the pres the producer who was actually doing the show mm -hmm. um, had to go and do a live show on ground. So mm -hmm. she was like, you know, guess what? Who's, guess who's, who's doing the show today? Mm -hmm. You have to do the show. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I was like, this is the moment, guys. Yes. You know, yeah. had my entire family tuned in. Yeah. Everyone, yo, yeah. guys, yeah. support. Yeah. You know, so yeah. yeah, it was really good. So yeah. it was a two-hour show, mm -hmm. and and I uh, and I did it. And then with time, the directors mm -hmm. were like, you know, why not? Let's just you know give it to her, make make it her own show. Yes. And yeah, I did it for like three months, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, Kubamba was also transitioning out, if okay. I would say. Okay. That, that, that is the radio department because mm -hmm. we had a radio and then we also had a missions department. Mm -hmm. So uh, Kubamba was closing. Uh, okay. by that time so mm -hmm. i did it for like three months and then mm -hmm. it closed oh. so i now went into the missions mm -hmm. area for like mm -hmm. two months or so, or so and then yeah that, that's wow. how it was with wow. kubamba wow. yes Kuna watu wengi sana wako talented uh -huh. I, yes. I love your vigor mm -hmm. that uli uli g record yes <laughs> like anonymous <laughs> an anonymous presenter yes yes <laughs> aspiring presenter yes. i love your vigor mm -hmm. uh there's so many people out here who are really talented yeah but uh what wana katupa le nyumbani mm -hmm. una watch netflix una tu, mm. and you want everything to come mm. to you mm. what's your culture what's your norm what's that thing for you that always keeps you going una get mm. ndio watu watu wa sidhani ati uh, you can just sit and just opportunities yeah. in Nigeria zina come, yeah. so what's your take on opportunities and getting opportunities um, I think uh, mm. we normally talk about thinking outside the box. Okay. Do away with the box. Mm -hmm. Like just, you know, think out loud. There's nothing that is limiting you from thinking out. I, w I would never have thought, if mm -hmm. I stayed in teaching, okay. I would never have ventured into radio. Right. So I normally tell guys that I, I stumbled into radio because honestly, mm -hmm. me, I was just doing, I was just minding my business, yes. doing sales and marketing. Then yes. all of a sudden the opportunity was here. Mm -hmm. And so I never thought that, uh, because you know, there's something very interesting I was remembering that in, in primary school, there these things we used to write autobiographies. Yes. Unani kapo genus, mm -hmm. your nickname, mm -hmm. favorite dish, mm -hmm. da 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 da. So Best person, friend. yeah, person to be in future, mm -hmm. I used to write lecturer stroke journalist. Wow. 
Okay. So very interesting because uh, mm -hmm. when, of course, when you're teaching the three-year-olds, four-year-olds, it's like you're lecturing them. We're just looking mm -hmm. at you like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, first of all, you're very tall. Mm -hmm. Let's start from there. <laughs> you know, and it's like you're lecturing them. Yes. So I, I normally say that I've already lived my lecturing bit mm -hmm. or I've already done my lecturing bit mm -hmm. and now I'm doing my journalism bit. Yes. You know, something mm -hmm. that I never, I did not think that is how it, it was going to pan out. Probably I thought I'd go to school, yes. study, work hard, you know. Mm -hmm. And so not that school is not important. It's mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. But again, you need to to, you need to do away with the box. You need to think, wh what is it that I can do? What is it that I'm gifted in? How can I yes. be able to package this mm -hmm. and do something about it? Yes. yes. Yeah. So, kio pale kwenye radio, unajua kuna, there is one thing, kama mimi, as an MC, that I have gone through, watu wana thaningi maenzi, wana kuwana pesa mingi sana. Ama kama uko kwenye media, ukona pesa mingi sana. Just have money to give away. Yes, yes, yes. So, what's a popular myth that that people what wa kikuona kama Joanik uh -huh. that wako zile za eh hey, Joanik maybe ana ako hivi uh -huh. ako hivi because yeye ni ako kwenye radio yes. ako hivi ako hivi I think you've mentioned it yes. having money because yeah. you know people don't expect you to commute yeah. like they expect you driving yes. you know yeah. so you find that at times you're pushed to a place where you have to maybe grab a cab every yes. once in a while because yeah. again <laughs> when you meet with people yeah. kwa batatu they're like ah, okay you're already a presenter I don't yeah. expect you to be yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I <need> you <laughs> you know, so I think it's it's people think you have money, yes. but which is good. It's a good yeah. thought. A good uh, thought. Continue <laughs> thinking that about us, guys. <laughs> but <laughs> but I think it's it's uh, people don't really expect you to be in the public domain like that because okay. you know they already know you mm -hmm. as a public figure, yes. but they don't really expect you to be like on the public mm -hmm. face mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I think you know deal too nayo. You know, we can start chilly, but we na panda matatu na na kuyu na end. Yeah. Challenges. Can you experience kwa industry? Now that you actually, uh, in a way, but okay, but the the radio scene is a bit good. Yes, as like opposed to MC yes, or maybe TV. Yes, yes, TV. Yeah, it's it's a bit kuna a mix of both ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. Yes. So what are some of the challenges you have experienced as a presenter? <sighs> wow, I think uh, of course guys sliding into your DM, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and people kind of feeling like they have access oh. to you. Um, you know, maybe like, because they know you, of course mm -hmm. they know you, so they want mm -hmm. to have access to you and mm -hmm. talk to you and mm -hmm. tell you maybe the issues that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, guys want you to come and support their events. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, thinking Fun that, that I'm like, <laughs> guys, I also have a life yeah. and I have a family, yeah. you know. So yeah. you find that it's it's quite, people expect you to be available for them, mm -hmm. which is not, it's not a bad expectation, but mm -hmm. I think it depends, uh, you know, are we friends? Are we yeah. close? Because yeah. again, you know, I can't just be showing up for every other event. Yes. Um, I have a life of my own. Mm -hmm. I also need to make sure that, you know, my mm -hmm. life is also going on. So yes. I think that that has been a challenge, just mm -hmm. trying to deal with, uh, you know, the fan base, if yes. I would say, because mm -hmm. of course with time you may grow, mm -hmm. uh, with time you meet with people, they now know you. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, I hear you on Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's it's been something that I've been learning how to deal with pole pole. Yes. 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 <laughs> so challenge is Zico. Yes, Zico. Uh, it's not that smooth. It's not, it's uh, not. Okay. Yeah. So kio bado pale kwenye industry, which mm -hmm. is that moment, uh, you know, Nakumbuka, which was quite inspiring mm -hmm. or embarrassing that you cannot forget <laughs> at all, at all. You did a thing wow. which maybe touched someone yeah. or a thing which embarrassed you until you were like, Where? What did I just do? Wow, okay. Uh, Most embarrassing. Yes. Let me start with that. Was word. It <laughs> I think when I was starting radio, uh -huh. uh, of course, I didn't know how to operate. Yes. Oh, mic on, mic mm -hmm. off, all these other things. Mm -hmm. So there's one time I left the mic on mm -hmm. after I've done a link. I left the well, mic no, on. No. And then someone just as a presenter, you're talking to yourself. Yeah. Like you're like, so which is the next song I should do? Yeah. So I had my producer banging on the other side because now there's Jeez. normally like a, 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 a window, a clear yeah. window. You can be able to see them. Yeah. It's like, zero mic, zero <laughs> <laughs> it was so embarrassing because I was just like, oh my goodness, what did I just do? You know. Yeah, Everyone so, is listening <laughs> to your private conversations. <laughs> but good thing I was just asking yeah. about a caller who'd called in, requested for a song. Mm. I was like, I'm a request Rimbo Gani. Yeah. So now you know, they make it so loud. <laughs> and then now it's over a song. I'm like, oh, oh my yeah, it was God. so embarrassing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also like callers, you know, calling in, they get you off guard. Yes. You know, they tell you something. Mm. Joanna Kupenda, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, Pend up here and I love your God. <laughs> <laughs> you just find a way to become very smart with it. So, yeah, uh, yeah there's those moments yeah. that are times that are part of God. We should know how to go yeah. about it. Yeah. Most inspiring. Mm. 
Um, I think there's a time I interviewed uh, a, a pilot who calls himself a blind pilot. Okay. Apparently he was, you know, born blind, blah, mm. blah, blah, but also aspired to be in and the aviation pilot. and mm. all that. So mm. uh, went for a corrective surgery mm. and, you know, is able to see partially mm. and still is able to live his dream. So I think yes. for me that was, you know, quite inspiring to know that nothing should limit you. Mm. You know, the fact that you have a broken foot or yes. leg mm. should not mean that you should not run that marathon, you know, mm. Find a way. Mm -hmm. I will share. Like there's yes. so many ways you can be able to still run the race. Yes. You know, get crutches if need be, mm -hmm. um, for you to see to it that you get to the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would you advise someone who wants to enter into radio? Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, nitty gritty is the what should I do? What can I do? Mm -hmm. One thing about radio and so funny me fanya is series na two three yes. is that you need to be very quick mm -hmm. in thinking uh, uh, ideas. Yes. Uh, how to engage, mm -hmm. how to, you need to be very, in a way, you need to be very sharp. Yes. So what would you advise someone who wants to enter into the industry at radio? Um, I think with, with, with radio, mm. you, you never stop learning. Oh, okay. Um, you know, uh -huh. uh, I think that's, that's the end of you and that career. Okay. You know, so you never, you never stop learning because mm -hmm. like, for example, bare minimum, like mm. you should have maybe three or four ways of introducing a link. Oh, you know, not, nice. Not, not just doing it the same way you've been doing. Hi, my name is Jenny. Mm. You find my way to say it. Mm -hmm. you know? So you find that when you listen to other presenters, mm. you know, you get to pick something, not not like copy-paste, yes. but at least you get to listen. You're like, oh, so you can actually back announce a song like that. Oh, oh that's nice. interesting. Mm. So you're like, oh, so I don't have to start with my name. I can start with, uh, you know, the station ID. Mm -hmm. you know, which station is this? Mm. I can actually start with the social media platform. Okay. You know, you get to learn. Mm. So I think you, you need to be open to learning mm -hmm. and also... Uh, you know, like, don't necessarily, necessarily rather reinvent the wheel, okay. but, you know, just work with it and become better. Mm -hmm. You know, keep learning every single day because if you come out say, when you get to that point mm. you you'll now become it becomes almost like monotonous because mm -hmm. you're not doing the same thing over and over again so yes. you need to get to a place where you're open to learning mm -hmm. and of course you need to be very quick uh, yes. you know you need to connect a song to what you're about to say wow. you need to connect a comment that someone said to mm -hmm. um, you know maybe the conversation of the day yes. a tweet a meme that you saw mm -hmm. you need to connect it to the conversation for the day mm -hmm. uh, encourage someone one through it you know something mm. like that so you need to be very very quick you need to be of course conversant with what is happening mm. what is trending what's mm. the word on the ground mm. uh, what are people saying yes. of course you can't be talking about uh, maybe say world war two right now i mean mm. we are about going towards the election so yes. it needs to be relevant it needs to mm. be something that people can relate with mm. yeah okay so uh kwai career kwai yeah. career ya kwai kwenye radio mm -hmm. where do you see yourself in the next like five years what's your what, what are you planning to do mm -hmm. what are you planning for us Yes. Ah, yeah. uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, I'm at a place where I said never say never. Yes. You know, mm. uh, I'm like, if I ventured into radio with mm. zero knowledge about radio yes. and just the basics mm. of, you know, having a, a loud mouth mm. and just, you know, being very loud. Basics. Uh, basics. <laughs> but I was loud and audible, you yeah. know. Uh, if I ventured into radio with that, uh, mm. I'm like, what is TV? Yes. You know, mm. I'm like, uh, what is BBC? Sorry. Yes. But you, you get what I'm saying. I like, get <laughs> like, like mm -hmm. the, the limit should not be the sky. It's, yes. it's way above. Mm. So five years from now, um, I hopefully ventured into TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, also just to see how, how that goes. Yes. Uh, you know, because mm. when you talk about media, basically touching on online mm. uh, TV and mm. radio. So mm. uh, being on radio, of course, mm. maybe some leeway to TV. TV and yes. see how that goes. Yes. Yeah, and uh, corporate events mm. and seeing mm. uh, I want to now get into it fully because yes. I've been mm. doing it like in Chinia Maji, but now I want to uh, you know talk about branding mm. uh, myself as a, as a corporate and see and mm. yeah, see how mm. that goes. Yes. Uh, radio presenters and maybe media kidogo mm -hmm. hakuna hakuna ngoma zenezikona content. <laughs> in Kenya <laughs> yes. and you guys don't play our music uh -huh. here in Kenya because Akuna content. What's your take on that? <sighs> wow. <laughs> this one this one this one is I need to be very smart be on how to, on smart. how to answer it. Uh -huh. But I think um th there needs to be a spirit behind your song. Okay. If it's not the spirit of God, mm -hmm. there's only other one spirit that can be there. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. So you can't you can't blame people for not consuming your music. 
mm-hmm. at the end of the day who's 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 pushing you to wow. to do this this thing that you do every single day mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. when you go into the studio are you looking for numbers mm-hmm. are you looking for uh, people to subscribe to that to your channel mm-hmm. or are you doing it as unto god wow you know because wow. if you're doing it as unto god god mm-hmm. will find a way for this music to find its way into radio into, into tv and and Hallelujah. above and beyond Amen. so i think there's only so much we can do mm-hmm. but if you're driven by god mm-hmm. then it shouldn't be your headache for how is this one going to go go to radio people will yes. listen to it and they'll mm-hmm. be like hmm I love this song. It's like you're going to be able to you know, and Kido Kido Go Producer will say, yeah, okay, I need it on, on high rotation because mm-hmm. it's a good song, wow. you know? Mm-hmm. So you find that you can't, you can't, start imposing mm-hmm. or you can't start mm-hmm. saying that you. uh you know people are not uh, they're not playing ke they're not yes. playing kenyan music yeah. because i think you need to really look at are you doing it as unto yourself mm-hmm. you know for your own brand and mm-hmm. for your own mm-hmm. uh, self or are you doing it as unto god so mm-hmm. i think it's very very important to look at that mm-hmm. that way when you're doing it as unto god if it has the spirit of god behind it yes it will find its way to the hearts of people mm-hmm. through uh, social media. What would I find a challenge in your wimbo? Wow. You know, you find that, for example, mm-hmm. people do a, a TikTok challenge mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, everyone. views, you know, everyone is going to, which song? I need to find this song and listen yes. to it. I need to yes. listen to the entire song. Mm-hmm. So you find that somehow, somehow, God will make sure that that word gets to the hearts of people. Amen. Yeah. Amen. What a to wrap up show now. Pop quiz before <laughs> producer Wangu and Ipeleke Bio Bio. Yes. So pop quiz, this is very basic, just about details about you that uh a bit personal. Yes. Kidogo too. Like in the sana. Okay. <laughs> Your favorite food. Uh rice and beef stew. Rice and beef stew. Yes. Kikula here with the sour. Manning the box. Quisha <laughs> Favorite pet. And have you ever had a pet? No, I haven't. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't have a pet, mm-hmm. but I prefer dogs to cats. Dogs to cats. Yes. Why not cats? Uh, <laughs> long story. Long story. <laughs> long story. Okay, so I saw. Yes. To endele. Uh-huh. Favorite movie. Movie any my watch last year in Kubamba. Sana, sana, sana. This will sound like I don't know if it's cliche or mm. <laughs> it's okay. but it's okay. uh, there's a series I've been going through. Uh-huh. Uh, Kitambo Kidogo Blacklist. Mm. Blacklist. It's yeah, it's it's yeah. quite interesting. I love the mm. way it's investigative, mm-hmm. and then if you miss one episode, you will not have missed Sana. You know the like oh, series nice, that you have nice. to go like step by step. Uh-huh. But this one, it's like every episode has its own story. So oh, I nice. Think I like that uh-huh. about yeah. Mimi Pendi series come as well. Napenda continue continuation. <laughs> okay. Yes. Favorite destination in the world. Place in Ungependa. Sisi kama sana tukiamua. Leo tunataka kupende, kupeleka jawandi a trip. Yes. Where would you choose to go? Maldives. Maldives. Yeah. Maldives, Maldives. I've always had a thing for Maldives. Yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, like, iyo lazima. Yeah. Must. Must in the end. Lazima. <laughs> yes. Hi. Uh, what else do you enjoy doing apart from being in radio and the main things that you want to do? I love singing. Oh, nice. Uh, see shower records, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> see shower records, yeah. but by the grace of God, uh, yeah. leading praise and worship in church. That, that has been really good for me. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, like, if if you don't find me in studio mm-hmm. presenting, mm-hmm. Um, probably somewhere humming a song or singing. So yeah, I really love singing. So you love singing. Kapsa, yeah. kapsa, kapsa. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> we utter na nafikiria tu issue in general kidogo kidogo too uh-huh. but our time is up. Yeah. So maybe watu wanataka kukupata pale kwenye social media uh-huh. uh utatuambia handles zako but before then you uh-huh. can give us your parting shot. All right. Uh so my parting shot would be um you are not here by chance mm-hmm. you're here by design so wherever you are wherever uh, you're serving whatever it is that you're doing uh, you know it's it's right on schedule you know hakuna kitu inapatanga god by surprise so just know that um, wherever you are whatever it is that you're doing uh, give it give it your best uh, you know always ask god to give you a spirit of excellence in everything that you do mm-hmm. and uh, god is going to continue blessing the work of your hands so mm-hmm. yeah thank you so much for having me mm-hmm. you can find me at joanik underscore ke Joanique Nick is Joan and then I A I Q U E. Mm-hmm. Yes. I've never spelled out my name actually. <laughs> yeah, so Joanik mm-hmm. underscore K E is where you can mm-hmm. find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Mm-hmm. And then every Monday through to Friday, you can find me at Pal Radio K E 96.9 mm-hmm. uh, from 3 to 7 p.m.
Amazing, yes. amazing. Thank you so much for coming to Asante. the show. Asante, thank That's you for having me. Sanmiye. Asante, and, nashukuru. And, <laughs> so that was all from us here at Sanana Mitindo. Remember, we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. We had the amazing, the beautiful, the gorgeous. <laughs> eh, manze, always your phone could miss any episode of Sanana Mitindo. So that was all from us here. See you next time here on Wema TV. For now, adios.